welcome, I'm Steve Hay and welcome to the wonderful world of woodworking with Carpetech. Today, we're gonna to be covering veneering. And honestly, treat it like normal timber. Although, um, my, my friend, and I'll remind you again, if you wanna see what veneer can do, check out the Hannah cabinet. And Jeff used to say to me, you know, veneer is great stuff and you can do anything with it. You can put it through the thickness, you can put it over a jointer, you can plane it, you can sand it. You can put it through a drum sander. Said you can use a spoke shave, but don't remove any of it. <laughs> but when you get used to it and you feel comfortable with it, it honestly is just like using real timber. A lot of people, I know in the olden, olden days, I'm talking 1800s, 1700s, 1600s, veneer was three mil thick, eighth of an inch, possibly even anything up to a quarter of an inch, they called a veneer. And I do know people that will not touch what they call commercial veneers, which is what we're working in today, which is 1.6 mil, 1.7 mil uh, veneers. I've got some ebony over there, and I think it's 1.5 mil because it's a very expensive timber. To me, uh, 3 mil, 4 mil, that's a solid plank as far as I'm concerned. But anyway, have some fun with it. Try it out. You can, um, as I said, you saw there, I had wherever it is. I've gone and lost it. Well, there you go. By all means, go go into to Carbotech and have a look at their uh, range of veneers or grab a marquetry pack. Marquetry packs are good because <clears throat> it gives you the experience of using different veneers and even within the same species, you'll get a piece of veneer that, oh, it's beautiful, it works so well and you get another piece and it's an absolute not nice piece to work with. So it's, it's good, it's good to experiment, to try. Uh, if you want to do some um, uh, easy things, try a box top. Uh, not necessarily the curvy ones I do, but I've, I've got some just plain boxes and then later on down the track we'll do some marquetry and you can see what you can do there. Get a good quality plywood. Uh, stay away from the really cheap, you know, $30 for a sheet stuff. Uh, the reason being, if you look at it, it's got thick laminations and they're generally fast growing timber, which means it's not that stable. You will pay a lot for good stuff. Uh, I think I pay about $220 a sheet for the birch ply that I buy. Uh, the other one, good one is marine ply, that could be around $60 a sheet. But whatever you do to one side, remember you've got to do it to the other. It doesn't have to be the same veneer, but it does have to be veneered. When you're veneering on plywood, go 90 degrees to the face grain. When you're veneering on timber, go parallel to the grain. And where possible you're veneering on timber, use quarter sawn. That's with the growth rings going perpendicular to the face you want to, to do. Use veneer just as if it's timber. It's just thin timber. It, it, it does take a little bit of getting used to, but once you start working with it, I'm sure there's, there's no real issues. If you get stuck, drop me a line or drop Carbotech a line and they get in touch with me and I can um, definitely help you out. Remember the pencil thing? Find the, the backbone of the timber and the way it bends easiest. This is when it's very tough. It'll bend a little bit that way, but it won't bend there at all. So I know that is the downside. Scribble pencil on it and uh, then you'll always know what side to put down. If you can't get a veneer hammer or you haven't got one, go and buy yourself a cork block, put a bit of uh, plywood on it and that will work well as a veneer hammer and hopefully I'll catch up with you very very soon uh, so thanks if you if you new to Carpetech channel please hit the subscribe button and the like button and uh, we'll get this channel up and running if you have any projects you'd like or techniques you like shown by all means send a, an email to them or leave it in the message I when I can, I answer the messages on um, their YouTube site. That's going to wind it up. Hope you enjoy uh, having a go with veneer. Look after yourselves, enjoy your craft, and you can never get into trouble when you're doing woodwork. 
So keep doing woodwork and inspire the creativity within. Till we meet again, this is Steve Hay for the wonderful world of woodworking saying thank you for your patience, your patronage and watching. I look forward to having your company in the workshop again very, very soon. Till then, good night, good afternoon, goodbye. Catch you later. Bye for now.